There, there, Booby. You'll be okay. Oh, Doctor, did you find anything? Is it strep? No, it isn't strep. Oh, well, that's a relief. Mrs. Bravlowski, has your son ever had a blood transfusion? No. Why? Little boy, have you been having unprotected anal sex? What? No! Doctor, what are you saying? We've run every test imaginable. Little Kyle here is infected with HIV. What? HIV? It took us a long time to narrow it down, but there is no doubt. No, that's impossible. Little boy, are you sure you haven't taken it up the hoo-hoo just once or twice? No! No, goddammit, no! I'm telling you, you're wrong. There's, there's no way I can have HIV. Unless maybe... Oh, my God. That son of a bitch! Kyle? Kyle! Pass me the bar. Pass me the bar, Craig, you stupid asshole. Kyle, what the F? I'm gonna kill you, Carmen! Kyle, what? What do you do? Why do I have HIV? Oh. Oh, you have HIV, huh, Kyle? Guess it isn't so funny now, is it? What did you do? Nothing! Then why did Butters say he helped you sneak into my room last Friday night? Oh, uh, nice, Butters, you big tattletale. Tattletale? Do you know how serious this is? Well, Kyle, maybe I was just trying to prove a point. Ah! Ah, Kyle! Hey, that's enough. Break it up, you guys. Break it up. You okay? You okay? Sometimes it seems the more criminals I try to stop, the more just come out of the back alleys and dilapidated bars. The city is a dying whore. She calls out to me to save her, and I don't know if I can, but she is still my city, and I cannot just sit and watch as innocent people are... Who the hell is that? Who the hell are you? I'm an angel keeping watch over the city at night. As violence and darkness take over the streets, I work to rid the city of crime. I'm the symbol this town needs. Ah, uh, no, 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 no. I am the symbol this town needs. Dude, seriously, you can't do that. Go home. I was, I was doing this first. Nuh-uh. Yeah, huh? You heard of the coon, and now you're being a copycat. Is that your name, copycat? I am Mysterion. Mysterion? That's fucking retarded. You just gave yourself away, Craig. Only you would think of a name that dumb. I might be Craig, and then again I might not be. My identity must remain a secret. You cannot know. Yeah, well, you cannot know my true identity either. I assume you must be Cartman, because you're fat. Were you wrong? I'm not Eric Cartman, and he's not fat. Care to guess again? I really don't care who you are. Oh, all right, Kyle. Yeah, it took me real long to figure it out. Only you, Kyle, would be a buzzkill and try to steal my thunder. You don't care about stopping crime. You're just doing this because you hate me, Kyle. Kyle hates Eric Cartman. Are you saying you're Eric Cartman? No, I'm not. I'm, I'm saying that. God damn it, Stan, is that you? It is you, isn't it? Glad? Glad you're not a superhero. I am. I cannot stand here and make idle conversation any longer. The city needs my help. There are innocents to protect me. No! Dude, I'm seriously! You're being a copycat! I'll sue you! Today, on Dr. Phil, the tragic story of a little boy whose mother constantly tries to fuck him. I want you all to meet Eric Cartman, who's a very special boy with a very hard life. Eric, you say that your mom fucks you? Yes! She fucked me so hard! Does this happen often? Does she, does she fuck you a lot? Dude, Filipino hookers don't get fucked the way I do. Oh. Now, I know this is very difficult for you to talk about, but where was the last time your mother fucked you? At Best Buy. Oh. Your mother fucked you at Best Buy? Uh-huh. And people saw her doing this? Yes. And they didn't do anything? No. Eric, stop it. Oh, there she is. There's my mom right now. <laughs> You come home right now! Yeah! Ma'am, why do you think it's okay to fuck your son? I don't! She does! She does it all the time! She fucked me on Christmas! She fucked me on my birthday! Oh! You know, Mom, the least you could do is kiss me first, because I like to be kissed before I get fucked! You fuck your son and you won't even give him a kiss? Boo! If I was going to fuck my son, I'd kiss him first!
Well, Eric, we have a very special gift we want to give you. An iPad? <laughs> huh? Oh, my God! Kyle? Kyle, can we talk to you for a minute, please? Yeah? Kyle, have you been getting high? No. Then why did your mother find this in your dresser drawer? Uh. All right, look, that isn't mine. I'm just holding it for a friend. Don't lie to us, Kyle! How long have you been on the cheese? Uh. I'm not cheesing. I've never cheesed once in my life. Get up to your room right now uh. and tell your mother and I figure out how to deal with this. Yeah, can you just listen to me for a second? Now, Kyle! God! Gerald, what are we gonna do? I've set as a cat pee attic. First thing is we've gotta dispose of this. What are you gonna do? I better just take it down to the basement for now. Make sure Kyle can't find it. <laughs> no, the plane crashed. We're in the Colorado mountains somewhere. Matt! Matt! My husband. He said the outbreak was all over the news, but everything was totally fine where he was. Totally fine? Then it hasn't happened yet. Oh my god, we still have time. Help! Help me! Please! I have two little girls in Chicago. Please find them! It's okay. We have reason to believe it hasn't spread yet. Then you have to stop it. Yes! If there must be a patient zero. The person it all starts from. His name is Token. We have to kill him before he infects everyone else! I won't do it! He used to be my friend! You have to! You have to be strong! If you can't stop this, if you can't save the world, then you have to do it! <coughs> promise me! Promise me! All right, I promise. I won't let the Black People Riots destroy the world. Thank you! Wait, what? Oh my god! Oh my god! We're going to live through this, do you hear me? Yes! Come on! Well, did you make any money? Hmm. <laughs> ha, told ya. That's how it works in this damn country. Have you been bullying kids at school? What? No! Well, do you want to explain why this little boy's mother had to come talk to us? <laughs> Did you tell this little boy you were going to beat him up? You don't understand! He said horrible things! The, the thing is, I, I totally said I was sorry, but she still wants to beat me up. <laughs> Wendy, no matter what a person says, you don't respond with violence. Haven't we taught you that? The thing is, Wendy, I really think you're awesome. And I know I'm just a nerdy little weakling to you, but I want to be your friend because I don't have that many friends at ski. <laughs> Wendy, you tell this little boy you aren't going to hurt him. Mom, you don't... Now, young lady. I'm not going to hurt you. If there is any word of you fighting at school, it is over for you, Missy. Do you understand? Yes, sir. We're so sorry about this, Miss Cartman. Oh, no, thank you so much for your time. It really won't happen again. You're very sweet. Thank you again. Come on, Muffin. Okay, Mammy. Ma, 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 ma.
And so an adverb almost always ends in L-Y. Like angrily or happily. Ah! Ah! Eric, I told you to stay in your desk. Ah! 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 Eric, settle down. Ah! 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 All right, that's it, Eric. You go see the counselor. Now you get to sleep and think about how your poor mother has to clean that bathroom up. What, what, what? Me? You can't kick me out of Cune and friends. I'm the fucking Cune! Oh, you don't keep anything. This is my basement, and I'll tell my mom what you get. Mom, what the fuck? This fucking is doing. You, you do not need a girlfriend, and I told you I've had it with your the language. Your gone. punishment is that your friends will just play superheroes without I'll you. Tell Go you to your room. Good you don't need fucking kids. Tell you I love you once more The time has gone So here it is I'm not your son You're not my father We're just two grown men saying goodbye No need to forgive No need to forget What? 